for Devontae Adams, but one return that should make this offense that much more potent is Darren Waller, who battled injuries for parts of last season. He'll also benefit from the presence of Adams, as he recently explained. Here's what Waller had to say, quote, I try to go get in the line with him in individual drills when they're releasing, doing releases on the little tire man over there in the corner. He's working his little double hand swipe, windshield wiper off the line. I don't know, it's just like, you know what release he's going to do, the little split with the shake, but just so smooth and quick and effective. And I'm over there in line just watching him, or if it's in a team drill and I'm not in and he's in, I'm just trying to be like, what is it about that that makes it so effective? And I don't know, man, it's just a balance, a mindset. I'm running expletive out here. No one's going to make me move at a pace that isn't my own. A lot to digest there, but Waller and Adams lead an impressive group of greater skill position players this season. They also have Hunter Renfro got an extension this year. He had 103 catches last year, so Derek Carr enters his ninth season. He also got an extension, plus Josh Jacobs in the backfield. His 28 rushing touchdowns in the last three seasons are tied for fifth in the NFL. Feels like a lot of good pieces in place, so I ask you this, Key, how dangerous can this Raiders offense be? I think the offense is going to be really dangerous. I think that they'll take a little more shots downfield than they were in the traditional West Coast offense under John Gruden. So, look, here's what I would say. You go out there and you get a guy like Devontae Adams for a reason. You have a tight end in Darren Waller, a former wide receiver. You mentioned Renfro had 100-plus catches. Then you get Demarcus Robinson coming over from the Kansas City Chiefs. So they have an offense that is explosive. And then when you add Jacobs into the lineup, I'm assuming Jacobs is going to be the starter, although they did not pick up his fifth-year option, which doesn't say anything. It's just a negotiation tactic, I'm sure. This offense is, is pretty good. I've always believed in Carr. I've always felt like he was a top echelon quarterback in the National Football League. A lot of people don't believe that, but I think now when you got Josh McDaniel coaching you up and you got Devontae Adams, somebody that you're very familiar with playing receiver for you, you can have a really, really big year.